I need a hat! Help me! Canyon just asked me a very important question. All right, things are getting real here. Our special guest is here. So honored to be here. We are going to have a jam session. This is craziness. A bath for over a week. Come on, you're okay. Okay, I know you don't like this at all, huh? But you're just like a sweaty little girl. We are getting the yard ready to have a concert tonight where we will be social distancing, we will be wearing our masks, and the weather is not looking very promising. Hopefully, it's raining. it is raining. Hopefully, it will just be like earlier today and then it will stop tonight for the concert and then it can rain again for the rest of the night. We'll see if that happens. It's pretty cold out here. Canyon just asked me a very important question. Um, mommy? What? You want to walk a plank. Walk a plank? Yeah. Like on a pirate ship? Uh huh. Because I have done that. You've walked the plank before? Mm hmm. Where? At Africa. I cut your back, I cut your belly, and then went to Africa. What? That's how, how um, you're bleeding. <sighs> and I walked the plank. Whoa. Johnny, did you hear that? He said he walked the plank in Africa and he cut my belly and got out and went to Africa and that's why I was bleeding when I was pregnant with him. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Totally. Wow, you have an amazing imagination. We got the food truck in and now we're trying to figure out the basketball. <laughs> so I don't feel like they're gonna hit their heads. We're trying to figure out the best way to set up some seating. Mostly the seating will be like for our family and maybe if someone doesn't have a chair or blanket or something. But we're trying to find the best way to set up the seating so that the singer, I can tell you it is yet, can be up here on the balcony singing and people will have be able to have the best, best view. We want to make sure that there's room for people to line up for the taco truck and the churro truck that's going to be here. The churro truck will probably be about right there. And so we want people to be able to get to those, but also to sit, to see, to hear, all of those things. Look at you girls, you got it figured out. Woohoo! One more to go. What? Oh, um, yeah. No. Sorry, I'm sick. Then you can't come to the party. Sorry, I'm not sick, I'm broken. <laughs> no, I'm broken. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it, girls. You did such a great job. All right, things are getting real here. Our special guest is here. The taco truck, churro truck. The storm. Hopefully it will just blow over for a minute. We can have the concert and then it can rain all at once. That's what we're praying for. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming out to this concert. Um, Alex is one of our most favorite people ever and so when he said that he was doing backyard concerts, we jumped right on it and said, we wanna do one. So, um, I just want to remind you, if you're not eating, to please wear your mask. Social distance where you can. This is a free concert. Awesome. Okay, Alex. Okay. So honored to be here. We are going to have a jam session. That's what I'm calling it. We're just going to have a party.
Sometimes we wonder, we kind of, uh, we don't recognize how much light we have individually. So we just walk around and stuff like that, you know. We're like, oh yeah, that's me. I'm in church, just my last days, yeah, that's me. Let's see that light right there. If it was daytime, would you be able to see that light? But is it still shining? Yes, it is. But everything's light and you just don't see it. But here's the crazy thing. I once heard a friend of mine was talking about during COVID, it's like we're living in the darkest time ever. It's like the world is just getting darker and darker. So then what happens when you switch the light off? All of a sudden you see the light! It's there! That's you! It's getting darker, we're going through this situation but your light is getting brighter. And it might not have ever even changed. It's just because the lights have been turned off. Now we have these 15 bright sparkly light blue uh, tops just <laughs> shining out there into the light and just blowing people away with their kindness and their light but they don't think much about it because they're used to it listen if you guys get cold come in you can come in this way <laughs> it started raining like crazy look at that <laughs> so everyone's helping to bring in the equipment so that it doesn't get ruined this is craziness alex is such a sport he is just like wet and cold and come in guys how much is it Danielle, go take the picture. Okay, here, I'll take yeah. the picture. Oh, pilot. Oh my gosh, she's got one of those gold caps. My neighbor has one. No, I can't, I can't, no, I can't do it. I can't. I love him from a distance. Six feet. Yo, well, you gotta feel her though. No, I know I have to. They made me do that to my next door neighbor one. It's like, it's good. I know, I know it's pretty. <laughs> So this party that was supposed to happen in our backyard, a big concert, um, I think a lot of people decided it was too cold. Yeah. It was freezing. And Alex kept going and going and going through all of the storm, all of the craziness, all of the rain, and, we, and then we ended up bringing it inside, and the mask stayed on. Yeah. Like, it, the mask stayed on, it was like, it was good, but Alex put on a phenomenal show, and we're, we're just like the best, he's the best. Okay, how many, we just, we just, we got a number here, since, since April. This is my 172nd. 172. Unreal. Okay, this was crazy, so when it first happened, lost all my gigs. I lost a $250,000 gig in uh, Tokyo Olympics. I was performing at the Olympics, right? Oh my gosh. Gone. Then all my other gigs, they just started calling one by one. Sorry, 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 blah, blah, blah. So I remember just praying. I was just thinking to myself, what am I going to do now? I've got seven kids. How am I going to support my kids? And then, you know, our wife, Julie, she was just like, I've got this idea. Why don't we do these, like, quarantine curbside concerts? I'm like, come again? She's like, just, like, bring your sound system, put it in your car, and just go and perform outside yeah, people's yeah, houses and so that's what i did because the first question i got when i was praying i was like heavenly father how am i going to support my family the lord said i got another question how are you going to support the community now how are you going to use your talent that i gave you to go and bless them and then i remember i put out this message and i said look we're going to do these curbside quarantine concerts if there's anyone out there that needs a smile struggling or whatever i'll come and do a curbside concert six feet away so i said but you have to nominate someone 1700 requests oh. Oh my God. So, so I was like, oh, so I'm like, I'm like, okay, that one, <laughs> that one, right? And then so, I, and it's crazy of the, so I done 170, right? 1700, then 170, <laughs> right? I couldn't, and then it got, it started getting too, you know, too cold. Then I started getting um, calls from fire stations. It's like, can you come and cheer us up? Wow. Did about five of those. Then I did three police stations. That was right after the George Floyd situation. Oh, yeah. yeah I formed well, the three really police struggle, stations. Yeah. That was crazy it was like amazing i had a life-changing experience and um then we ended up we went to idaho went to star valley wyoming went to logan everywhere and of, of the of the people that we performed them i think like 15 of them died because it was all the nominations were oh, on their way out 
and then one of them was like, man, I'd love nothing more to have a concert before I go out, you know, type thing. It was, there was one woman, she had one of my, my shirts, and we performed for her doorstep, and then she passed away two days later, and the family sent me a picture of her wearing my shirt on her little, on her death, and all the hands, everyone's hands, it was, I was, I lost it. Now I just remember, I was just like, now I know what this is, this is for, this was, this wasn't about me, this was for like, just trying to, you know, put a little smile. That is so cool. It's, it's just, it's just crazy, it's just like, Something always comes through. <laughs> yeah. Gift in the struggles. We, we were we were talking outside earlier. How there's no there's no such thing as coincidence. I don't believe in it. No. Yeah. It's not a it's not a thing. There's no coincidence. Things happen for reasons. How many of those concerts, those 172, were outside inside concerts? They were like, all you go outside. outside. You get rained on and you come inside. I've not done. This is the only indoor <laughs> the one. The first I've done. one. They yes. were all outside. Yeah. Leave it up to us to <laughs> yeah. <crash> the party. <laughs> That's right. So good. The chatter rights are switching up a little. That's right. Mess it all up. We 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 are, we pride ourselves on non-tradition. That's kind of our well, thing. Well, you were for, you were keeping the tradition alive. That's what that's true. Okay. Hey, good. We love you guys. Take care. Princess. We love you guys. Never forget that. Yeah.